course, the big news on Friday was that after being accused of crossing state lines, killing two people, and wounding another last year during a Black Lives Matter protest, Kyle Rittenhouse was acquitted on all counts. Okay. Yeah, okay, cards on the table. I'm not a legal expert. So I can't tell you whether or not Kyle Rittenhouse broke the law. But I can tell you this. If he didn't break the law, we should change the law. That seems simple. That seems simple. I'm going to make this as simple as possible because I've been extremely angry at this particular clip for a while now. And I think the easiest way for me to describe my reaction to this clip of Stephen Colbert discussing the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict was, SHUT THE FUCK UP, STEPHEN COLBERT! in no uncertain terms. I probably wouldn't like Kyle Rittenhouse that much as a person. I wouldn't know. I've never spoken to him on social media. And his social media was banned. So, you know, I can't go back and look through his entire history, but, you know... <laughs> From what I have seen, he was a blue liner who probably wouldn't have gotten along with me in the slightest. Myself and cop apologists don't typically get along very well, and that is exactly why I fucking hate people like Stephen Colbert. Because they will take any opportunity to use their stupid fucking vapid fucking obsequious platform to cloy for more laws. And that's a motherfucking problem. Stephen Colbert talks a big game about supporting Black Lives Matter and whatever liberal fucking whitewashed social justice movement he can, right? Whatever would be safe for his network to allow him to say. Never taking any risks anymore. He's not fucking the character from the Colbert Report anymore. He's his painfully boring, cucked off fucking byproduct. Um, with no writing staff, with any balls at all. He doesn't criticize anybody in power because they're in power. He criticizes them because he can get his bleeding ass fucking clapter fucking applause from his stupid goddamn audience. And I hate him for it. Because <clears throat> as somebody who regularly promotes self-defense and speaks out against the state. I know for a fucking fact that the reason movements like BLM are necessary to begin with is because of people like Colbert. Stupid pieces of shit. Or malicious and evil people who manipulated stupid pieces of shit into believing they're garbage. Because they're the people who get to cheerlead the next policies, which will be the latest update in the software of Jim Crow laws that is absolutely embedded in the operating system of America. Ahmad Aubrey was chased by racists who were accusing him of trespassing and then killed. He didn't hurt anybody, yet he's dead now. Fortunately, the three people who were involved in that uh, are going to see some time in a box for it. 
but he gets to spend the rest of his life in a box. Or should I say, his not life, because he ain't here no more. Because of the kind of mentality where even if somebody isn't hurting somebody who didn't deserve it, even if somebody isn't being an active menace to society, they should be prosecuted by some exterior force. Victimless crimes. And just to be super clear, somebody who is being hit in the head with skateboards, flying kicked to the face, having a gun nearly pointed at them, yeah, you know, they might kind of fight or flight their way and choose the not flight element when flight stops being as easy an option. You know? And if you if you look at the footage, fucking Rittenhouse, the first shot came from other people. And he thought he was being fired upon by Rosenbaum, who we kept. But Rosenbaum was just fresh off a men's mental institution, chucking the belongings he had from that mental institution at fucking Rittenhouse. And then chasing after him after literally saying, shoot me. And using a racial slur to do it. That's the representative Black Lives Matter kids. What? And then the other guy being violent to somebody on the ground with a gun is fucking retarded. You don't do that if you want to live. You don't group up on somebody with a gun if you want to live. This isn't the internet where you can bang somebody out as a group under the veil of anonymity and with a lack of proximity to the target and nobody can do shit. This is the real world. It's time to get real. You're unarmed and you fucking attack somebody with a massive gun on the ground you're a moron, and you're threatening their life because you're a massive group of people, and the only way he has to multiply his force is that gun. A gun which Ahmad Arbery should have had and used so the right people would be in the right box. But the uh, liberal media doesn't want self-defense. They want to paint anybody who does that or defends themselves and other people at the same time as some sort of terrible vigilante who needs to be stopped. You know where that mentality fucking started? It wasn't with white people. The mentality of anti-gun to stop people from this sort of thing was not to originally stop white people. It was to control black gun ownership and keep it easier to keep them in modern-day slavery, in the prison industrial complex, in police brutality cases where they can do nothing in return. And that's, that's fundamentally true. The NRA was heavily right-wing, and that's why they actually helped sponsor some gun legislation to remove guns from the hands of pretty much anybody they wanted, primarily dark-skinned people. Because, get this, if you want to stop the Black Panthers from marching in the streets, or Malcolm X from having his gun at that window in that awesome picture... You gotta find a way to couch it. So why not couch it in anti-crime legislation? Why not couch it in, you know, Jim Crow, where you criminalize primarily poor activities, only jail black people, and, you know, leave the poor white people out, so that you can consistently build up uh, a, a prison work complex 
because the 13th Amendment said that you can still use slavery if you're fighting crime, ironically. And if you want to keep this cast of people down that have historically been down since they were imported to America, you have to keep them down by way of stripping their arms. Like, like Huey Newton said, any unarmed people are slaves or subject to slavery at any point. Maybe Black Lives Matter partially happened because of a law enforcement system dominated by a force monopoly which has historically used disarming tactics to effect racist policy and effects on the communities that they policed. Maybe that's the reason that they get to shoot so many people because they had something or reached for their waist or... Isn't it fucking hilarious that cops get to walk around universally armed but a citizen having a gun somehow becomes pretext for that citizen to be shot despite the Second Amendment existing? Almost like that's the point and this is all a scam designed to create caste systems whereby certain people can be constantly castigated and constantly thrown into the gears of the machine. You know? And almost like when people like Stephen Colbert wax fucking assholic about this fucking, oh, if there's not a law, there should be. If it's not illegal, it should be. Fuck you! We need less laws, not more! And if you want to protect black people, you're going to shut the fuck up. And you're going to stop encouraging the same government that has historically fucked them out of their liberty. But you won't do that because you don't actually care. You don't actually think black lives matter enough to moderate your own opinions. You'll say whatever you can to appease your audience and get that... <gasps> Because you're worthless to everybody but the power structure. And those obsequious little boot abolishing fucking morons in your goddamn clique. And I hate you for it, Steven. I hate the fact that you get to ride in as some sort of crusader for justice talking about Orange Man and Former Guy and everything has to be Trump. There was a Trump story in this segment! But we don't get to talk about that. We don't get to talk about the fact that maybe he should shut the fuck up because that's bad. We should be against Kyle Rittenhouse. We should bleedingly repeat the same fucking mainstream narrative that everybody else has been fucking saying and we can't have our own views. That's illegal. Or if it isn't, it should be. You know, it's funny. Uh, Rosenbaum? He was a repeat offender for, for, for children, to say it in a way. And then Stephen Colbert, later on in this same segment, made a pot shot at Matt Gates about allegations of pedophilia. Not convictions like Rosenbaum had, but allegations. So he gets to make a pot shot at Gates because Gates is a Republican, despite Republicans not being in the presidency anymore, uh, allegedly, even though Joe Biden is basically acting exactly like Trump, which is what tomorrow's video is going to be on. Well, Sundays anyway, because tomorrow's going to be the vlog stream. Feel free to show up to that if you want to directly interact with me for some reason. But the general idea here is that he gets to throw these pot shots at people like Matt Gates because Matt Gates is a Republican. And when it comes down to it, he doesn't actually care about pedophilia because if he did, he wouldn't be defending somebody who was one and saying, you know, that this insane racist who came to this BLM protest because he needed a, 
a, a, a target for his rage and picked a really young target for some reason, um, he wouldn't be picking that guy out as some sort of victim to say it should be illegal about. You know? Maybe don't threaten people. Maybe don't chase people with guns while they're running away from you. Maybe don't have your friend fire off shots so that uh, the guy thinks he has to defend himself. Maybe don't point a gun near the person so that he blows your bicep off. Maybe don't uh, attack somebody while they're on the ground so that the only thing they really can do is... Uh, hmm? And maybe don't justify the same kind of racism that's going to create more Ahmad Aubrey's. Can we do this? No, because in the end, Colbert is going to support the police state as long as it can get his dim-witted audience to clap. Because that's what gets him money. That's what gets him ratings. That's what gets him trending on Twitter to make even more money. That's all he cares about, is fucking money because he's a goddamn sellout. If you ever even had any principles to begin with, he's lost them at this point, and he should shut the fuck up. Anyway, this is yet your latest rant. Feel free to like, share, subscribe to Bobber. Uh, I'm, I'm Jeremiah. <laughs> fuck this prick. <laughs>